this is just a cluster. I just want to show you how to decide when to chop chop or in the case of this Hira, they're both Siamese twins or clusters. So when is the right time to chop them and when is not? Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So this one on the right is a good candidate for a head chop because there's one baby here that I can actually take off as a cutting but we need to inspect what's going on in here because it's like too close for comfort which means the plant has grown two heads grown on one stem so see if we can or I can show you how to take cuttings or this is actually a cutting not a head chopping but it's still the same we're gonna chop its head off so it's the same thing so beheading so now this other one here is what not to head chop this one's got space so good candidate for head chop or cuttings this one is no good taking cuttings because as you can see this is too close inside it you can see that uh, the plant, there's one plant here, two plants there, three plants, that's actually the mummy over here. That's mummy, that's grown a baby, and it's grown two more babies on the side here, actually three. That might be another baby down here as well. So that one is too close to each other, so we can't do anything with this one. This one, we have to let it grow a little bit more before we can chop chop them. And this is what a mature Hira looks like. So once they get to about this stage, then they're ready to be separated. I need to clean up to see what I'm up to here. I just want to see what's happening. So it's always good to clean up and then that way I can see the stem. See this one is also a head chop. Now with this one, I'll just use my knife and I'll just cut it. Beautiful. So now, i just remove all the dry leaves because where the dry leaves uh, are attached to, that's where the roots going to grow. Even there, there you go, so that's beautiful. We'll remove a couple of leaves and that one because doesn't need it and it's just gonna dry up so that's another head chop or beheading and you can see the that area there that's where the new babies is gonna grow and so now if this is a Siamese twin which it is okay so someone asked this question how do you separate uh, if you have double headed like this okay so now the first thing you're going to do is clean it up, remove some leaves. So removing the bottom leaves of each side of the Siamese. That's way, that way you can see, that's way, that way you can see what you're up against. It's just creating more space. That way you can see what you're doing. And if you... There you go. So now this one, you can see it grow that. And see that one there? We clean it up again. So this is the drill. So just to show you that this is a Siamese twin. Okay. So now you can see that's a twin head. See there? Siamese twins, see there, right in the center, I might as well remove this so you can see it better. Come on baby, I'm sorry, okay, there. See, twin head, Siamese twin. Let's go on the opposite side. And that's a dry leaf, so what I'm going to do with this one, it's just cut straight in the center. I'll remove the label. I am going to do uh, borders now. So this is the north and this is the south. 
So we need a knife to go right smack in the center. It's going to be straight cut. Okay? So, down to the center and they are still sort of equal and I'm gonna go right down so each side would ha will have its own borders see so now there you go so you can either put a toothpick in the middle or some wood or anything like that just to separate the two so basically what I'm saying is just put something there and that way they will heal up and they will form or they'll callus over and then they will start forming their own roots but then now you have successfully separated the two plants if I chop this off now uh, I could chop them off but they have a better chance of growing roots this way while they are still attached so now that is now a nice separation of the Siamese twin there you go. So now this one, the other Hira hybrid, we're not going to touch this because they are still too young. So again, it's what I said before, a lot of people would probably pull this apart and then chop it off and dry it off and sell it to you. But I, that's the sort of plant I don't want to buy. So I would rather buy something that's more stable. So say for example, if like this part here, so anything that's got hard wood or hard ridges like that, or see even the Romeo here. See this one's here. I would not buy this unless it's got new roots growing. Okay, so because once you have say dead roots or black roots coming from that, you're like starting all over again. And it makes it more difficult for the plant to grow. So you have a high chance of uh, death than growth. So this one's is good. That one's no good. With this one now, best leaving it there to dry up before, um, instead of chopping it off. And then this one now, I'm going to leave this with the other one to dry up, callus off, and root up. There you go. That way they still look beautiful. And I'm going to put it back where I got them from. I'm not going to put it in the shade. So if you follow me outside, this is still going to go back to where it was growing before they have a better chance of acclimatizing because you don't need to acclimatize them. They're already acclimatized. So from the beginning, so if they were already grown or cut off in their natural environment, they have a better chance of growing. So this is where this plant is grown. So out in the open here, although I've got this shelf here sort of protecting it, so you can see on the side there, that's where the baby's going to go now. Okay, of course... I'm gonna angle it so the baby is sort of protected, but the mummies where we just chopped off, okay, they will just harden off and callus off and then become stronger plants. You're a hero. <laughs> Do you have roots? This is now three days later and do I see roots on you? Not yet, but it's already callous stuff and it's already been rained on and look, can you see? Hang on. Uh, there you go. It's already drying up. So the aim or the goal is to let that dry up completely to a point where in it will grow some roots and that will also maybe we get lucky and we can have some babies growing from it as well. But that's going to take uh, a few weeks to happen. And this one, at the meantime, I'll still leave that there. So that way, uh, the best way to do this, wherever I place my succulents. So this one now, I only have this shelf here. And this is now, there you go, it's cloudy days. So it's best to put it back where you have your succulents that you have already cut because that way I don't have to acclimatize it. If I say, for example, I've chopped this off, these cuttings, and even those ones there, if I take the whole pot and say put it somewhere uh, in bright light but sort of 
protected from the element over there in my covered area, then it's going to take me another six to eight weeks to acclimatize that plant. So that's why it's best that once you take it out to do some uh, head chopping, it is best to put it back where you got it from. So if that plant even came from this area here, which is really open, or even just say here. So say for example, if I take this one and I chop its head off, I will take that and leave it there. This is a Fred Ives. So we had rain last night. So I would leave that Fred Ives there to callous off. Even though uh, it's raining, that's still fine. As long as you give it a couple of hours to dry up, then it's okay. Now, I got distracted again, but it's beautiful. What are you? Uh, Tito buns. Beautiful. And then there's this weed growing. Oh, it's not a weed. It's a succulent. <laughs> it's a succulent. I just pulled it out. It's a Calicia rosato. See, they are like weeds. So the seeds get blown away. Oh, my goodness. My pink lady. Oh, it's growing a pink lady from there. So it's grown from seed. Oh, my Lord. There you go. So they are like weed. And in future updates, I will update you as to the progress of this and uh, maybe show you the next stage of harvesting those two or separating them because only one's going to stay there and one is going to have its own new pot.